Men of Rohan, the Westfold has been attacked by the Oryks of Saruman. They are here to burn and pillage the Westfold and draw out the Rohan's armies into the field. But first, Isengard must defeat the garrison of the Westfold and defeat these strong and mighty men. What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another Dawnless Days Siege Rail for you today and today we have a 3v3 here on, um, I actually don't know what map this is, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it, we used, used to play on it but the, the name is escaping me. But we are here on a, a very old Dawnless Days map you could say as King Daedon here leads the way. Going in for a charge, he actually changed his mind, he was going to go for a carry charge there onto the general, but failed. We've got Rise of Rohan now going in for um, crossbows. But yeah, this is an old map, I've forgotten what it is, it's like, um, Oldberg or something like that I think it's called. I think is what it, um, used to be, used to be called. It's not in the uh, current Rise of Mordor mod, it's uh, in a, uh, sub mod which adds, uh, it's like ultimate map collection for Dawn's Days. And uh, yeah, so it's in that, so you can uh, access it there if you want to do that, as we have, yeah, three units of cavalry here, actually, we have a, uh, two riders of Rohan, and then also Daedon going in, so, yeah, we're going to see how these guys can do, they are assaulting this, um, this army of Isengard that's attacking in the back of Oldberg, and here we go, Rohan going to get a charge off, it, sort of, but they kind of hit the, um, the pikes, they are also trying to get these crossbows, but this could be the death of that unit, they've charged in the pikes, yeah, they're going to lose a lot of men here, 72, yeah, and dropping quickly, crossbows also firing, yeah, that did not go too well. And whether they could get a charge onto the Berserkers, who also took a pretty nasty charge, actually. They lost, yeah, quite a few troops. Yeah, that Rohan unit there. Yeah, nearly half strength already. Yikes. But yeah, Oldberg, an old but gold map, and it's good to have it back. Um, I remember when the, the cap point used to be over here, but they seem to have moved it Whether the um, back to its old spot, which uh, is over here. Or is this the new spot? I can't remember. It's been so long ago. Could have been vice versa. But we have a classic 3v3 here. We have uh, three Rohan armies against three Isengard armies. Feels like a while since we've seen sort of a Rohan-Isengard matchup. So it's good to have them back in action. That is for sure. We've got plenty of Erling retainers here. And a Yeoman of the Mark. Various other nasty units here. They could do a lot of damage to be fair. So yeah. Be good to... Uh, Good to see how they do. I mean, obviously, Rohan does struggle with his infantry, but will the choke points be uh, enough to hold back the Uruk hordes? We will see. But yes, I mean, they're taking a merry old time coming forward here. So for now, we'll keep an eye on the cavalry back here and see how they are doing. But yes, if you're enjoying Dawnless Days and would like to see some more Lord of the Rings action and more Dawnless Days action, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and a comment to show your support. It really does help out the channel. And yes, if you've got any glorious Dawnless Days replays that you want to send in as well, feel free to send them into my Discord. The link is down below in the description. All are welcome as well to get involved in some battles. I hope to try and do more scenarios and streams on the mod um, because you guys do enjoy it. It's one of the like most popular things on the channel. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to try and get some more, uh, some more battles and streams done. Yeah, it does seem as though Rohan's now going to kind of just uh, sit back a bit, maybe just wait for Isengard to maybe assault this defense here, which is going to be a tough one to take. I mean, there's some good units over here. Early men at arms, pretty solid. We've also got Garrison the Hornburg, which is a really strong arch unit. Uh, we've got also some retainers here as well. And we've also got Guard of the Golden Hall. So, yeah, I mean, this is a good defense here by this Rohan player. If he holds here, um, like on this, on this uh, wall, it's going to force Isengard to obviously land troops and then also have to deal with the cavalry in the back. So it's actually a nice little pincer move he's got going on here. It just needs to keep these cavalry units in the game. And he's got himself half a chance, you know, of victory. I mean, the crossbows are going to be pretty useless as, uh, like, shooting at the walls. So they're probably going to be pretty useful defending the cav. Pikes again. Um, I guess you could use them to defend against the cavalry. All that choke point there. Um, so it's really going to be a sore day for, for the Uruks on the other... Like on those walls there. They've got plenty of swords as well. Urukai infantry and berserkers. Uh, which are more of an axe infantry I guess. But still good good units to take those walls. And they've got grenadiers. Which will be excellent for breaking through those choke points. That is for sure. It seems as though none of the other Rohan players brought any sort of cav. Um, so I guess. Yeah Rohan you know going against its. Uh, it's the grain really they they kind of you know re rely on cav to win games. But in a siege yeah cav is going to be pretty hard to defend the walls. Um, but yeah, the reason that they're attacking back there is Ro um, not is Rohan. Rohan's defending back there against the Isengard attack. The reason for that is is that you can come up the slope here at the back. 
So yeah, Olberg has got a sneaky little pathway in that uh, the Isengard player might use, but we'll see for ourselves whether he does. But yeah, we'll just fast forward for now, uh, wait until they make a landing, see whether they actually do that. Urukai infantry here making a bit of a landing. Uh, I mean, does, I imagine this army over here could be kept out of the game for quite a while. I, if a good player would maybe just press on, gradually, you know, shift forward the troops, um, and move, shift forward the towers. But uh, a, a, a weaker player, or maybe a less experienced player, might be like, well, we've got to try and deal with that cavalry before we can assault over there. Um, or they might just sit tight on this hill and just wait it out. Uh, which, to be honest, is exactly what Rohan will want. They'll want to see if they can keep a whole Isengard army out of the game. Uh, and just focus on the two over on this side. I mean, attacking on this side here already kind of does do that. Because once you do break through here, because I imagine they will eventually break through here. They might take a fair few losses. It's then one way up this slope here. And you just have to put one, like, spear unit in the wall here. And that's going to then make it very tough for Isengard to break through. If uh, Rohan was able to take out, say, the pikes and crossbows and the uh, grenadiers, like, units like that. That are very good at breaking through those sort of choke point scenarios. Yeah, they, they'd be in real trouble with this uh, Isengard army. This is a big risk, actually, coming from the back like this. Um, rather than just join their, their comrades up here. They could have just been a reserve army. But, uh, yeah, Isengard landing. Um, obviously, no real resistance. It seems like Rohan is going to defend the the second layer. And the Zurich infantry should take these towers fairly easily. But, yeah, I'm going to make a cut because it could be a little while, it seems, until Isengard has... Uh, is set up and ready to go. So I'll make a cut for you guys so you don't have to just wait patiently. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll see you guys when the first sort of action begins. It looks like we're going to have some Yeoman of the Mark firing. But yeah, I'll be back once the uh, the actual combat begins. So we are back and we have some half orc axes that are going on in. Again, this looks like some axe stains here of Rohan. So yeah, this is a fairly one sided fight, really, for the. Uh, Pretty half orc ears. They should really win this fight fairly easily. Um, I mean, the Axanes do have triple bronze show. That might help them. But, uh, half orc axes. It's been a sh uh, shock infantry. Oh, they're done a very light shock infantry. I did not know that. They used to be mediums, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, they're very light now. Huh. Never knew that. But yeah, so I guess that makes them even more vulnerable to things like missile fire. But yeah, they should unless they get shot at a little bit. Uh, which I actually, speaking of, it looks like the Yeoman of the Mark have been given orders. They are obstructed, apparently. But yeah, if they focus those guys down, they should hopefully uh, even the match out a little bit. Because right now, half orc axes are slicing and dicing those axes. Even in their shield wall, it isn't doing them no good. Um, the rest of the front looks like Isengard is still landing uh, quite slowly, taking his time. Over on the far side here as well, yeah, the cavalry is still sort of shadowing this uh, Isengard army, which has now set up its, uh, its forces in a defensive perimeter. Could have maybe gone for this Orakai infantry uh, like earlier if it was a little bit further back. He definitely could have gone for that uh, with Theoden and taken out that sword. You've got to do things like that. I mean, Orakai Pikes right now are getting shot in the back. Uh, that's a good win there for uh, for Rohan. He's forcing these Uruk Pikes actually into archer range and just get focused down. So yeah, they should eventually start to drop. That's a bit of a win there. We've also got Orakai Pikes here getting shot on that side. They're pushing forward. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on that back fight. See what's going on. The front uh, assault still, yeah, not really too much going on. Just this bit of action here. As we watch the Rohan infantry get cut down. Far too easily. They need support. Support your comrades. Commanders of Rohan. Defend the West Fold. Every Rohan man of Rohan has got to take out at least two Uruks. The basic requirement. They might need to. I mean, it's started at 9,100 against 5,000. It's almost it was 10,000 against uh, 5,000. So, yeah. They are going to need to take out about two men each. Or two Uruks each, I should say. Oh, are they going to do a really cheesy strategy here and try and push the towers through the men at arms? That probably won't work because I think as soon as the first guy on the tower um, gets engaged by like the spears, they, they should just run off the towers. We'll see, though. The Berserkers it might work for, because they're actually a very small unit. Oh no, Berserkers are just going to go straight on into the uh, spears. Okay, they are not messing about. Setting in more shock and tree here, elite shock and tree this time as well, against the spear line here. So this is going to need support, really, from Rohan, because if they just leave it how it is, the Berserkers will rip through these spears again. 
I mean, Rohan should probably fire a few volleys into these Berserkers. Where is Legolas when you need him to fire at those uh, Berserkers? Which should be pleased there's no sappers here. Because those sappers, which are just Berserkers with explosives, will also do some serious damage. Obviously, they are uh, using uh, using explosives, of course. They're going to do serious damage. But it looks like... Oh. Oh, I wonder if you can't land on these walls, actually. Urukai infantry here actually coming off the tower. Whether that was the strategy or whether that's just because you actually can't land on these walls. That quite possibly is the case. And if so, that makes Rohan's job a lot easier. It means one choke point to hold instead of that whole wall. But the Berserkers are killing these spearmen very easily. So it's still going to be a tough choke point to hold. And as you can see, yeah, early retaining has been sent in. I mean, the good thing is that these Garrison the Hornburg are a very good bow unit once they are out of ammo. They're a very good hybrid unit. They have an, an axe and a shield, so they're very, very good in that sense. Uh, more assault on this side here. We've um, still got a couple of spots that have got to engage, but we have got Mordor Rabble here that are being sent in. They are not going to do very well. And then more Half-Orc Axes as well. And Urukai Infantry sent on this side as well, so... Again, to the more mainline infantry for Isengard being committed. The Axe Danes still hold strong. As they are mighty warriors. But where was Gondor when the Westfold was attacked? Where was it? Probably in Gondor. Dealing with, you know, hordes of Mordor armies attacking Oskiliath. But still, where was Gondor? Well, the half orcs starting to, uh, to get involved, but it seems like these axe saints, you know, still chopping away. I mean, the half orc ax uh, axes here are actually getting focused down by Garrus and the Hornburg. They need to uh, use their ammo sparingly though, because it doesn't seem like there's any sp supply barrels on this one. Or oh, actually, they would have been just on the fort walls, wouldn't they? Yeah, so all the supply barrels are gone. So uh, yeah, they need to use ammunition sparingly to uh, do Rohan. More Axanes here going, sent in. The other unit's broken. Those half orc axes are starting to be weakened down and are losing, in fact, now. And as you can see, the grind on this side is very much in play. And it looks like it looks like the orcs almost have broken through already, actually. I think the retainers and men at arms here, yeah, they're getting overwhelmed. They're going to need to send more troops in. Why isn't Rohan sending more troops in? Like, he's got plenty here that could just be sent in to help hold this line. Once this breaks. It's going to be much easier for Isengard to just flood troops through this choke point. I doubt Rohan can hold it then. The Cav as well. Oh, did the Cav go for a charge or did it just get shot down? But this Cav unit over here is down to nine men. I think they must have just got shot. I'm seeing a lack of Isengard bodies. I think they've been shot to pieces. They have been shooting these uh, Grenadiers, which is a bit of a win. Uh, which is good to see. Yeah, the cab has been shot all the way back here as well, or it's charged in. There are some uh, dead Uruks there, so potentially have done a bit of a charge. They could cycle charge the general here. I mean, um, oh, maybe not, because Theoden is looking low on uh, men. That is not good at all. Although we have another general here. Theodred's here as well. Okay, so we do have Theodred as a general, but yeah, this is not good. Why is Rohan retreating? Is he just going to hold the... I think he's going to hold the bottom of this wall, isn't he? Still not a great spot because uh, now your cavs kind of nullified because they'll just go put a ch uh, if I was Isengard I imagine they'll just put a, a pike in this choke point here and then that just means that the cav can't charge him. Uh, that's what I'd do anyway. Whether that is what Isengard will do we'll see. They finally assaulted on these other choke points as well over here and this looks not great. Orica infantry losing to early retainers. That is not a good matchup. What happened here? Archers maybe? But whatever happened, we're now seeing half orc axes going into the battle. And also looks like more... Oh, well, more axe aims as well being sent in. They're really throwing in everything that they can. And we've got some swords coming on to this side here. There's some Urukai raiders being sent in there. Definitely we weaker than most uh, Rohan infantry that's here today. Early retainers should slice and dice them. 
Uh, as they're very light infantry, yeah, they are pretty vulnerable. Uh, we've got a few routing units over here. So this is good to see Rohan is holding the ground. But he needs to be careful not to use up all his ammo. I mean, anywhere that Isengard starts to uh, to win is where I'd start to focus down as as Rohan. That's how you can start start the process. But they also need to save ammo for like units that are going to come up late, like grenadiers and also pikes and maybe generals. I mean, I've seen alerts generals somewhere. Um, whether he's inside the city, oh no, he's over here. There's alerts general. I mean, he's very light bow infantry, and bows have zero missile block these days. So he'd be a great target to try and take out. He has triple gold chevrons, so... What that does, I do not know. Might give him more armor. The Rohanders needs to fight on to the very death, because otherwise, if they were to lose this, the Uruks will eat their bodies, because they, they do love man flesh. Do the Orcs and Uruks of this world. Ira is still coming in, helping to weaken these Urukai infantry that are winning. It's a good angle that they're using. Um, the city's on fire as well. Minus, uh, it's at 4% so far. Not doing too much in the way of damage. Um, I wonder if that's because of raider units like going by. I don't know, but that is interesting. This choke point over here is doing very well, though. This uh, Rohan player here is going to take out, I think, two units without losing a single one on that choke points. That's very, very good. Um, what is going on over here? We're seeing Deirdre retreat, which is good, with the remains of this army that was down here. And Isengard's just going to take it without really any sort of issues. And it looks like we're going to see a pike stack. Yeah, a pike stack of a sword and a pike. Surprised he put that much in there. And it looks now like we're going to see... Rohan just sitting here patiently waiting. Dairden's doing at least doing that. Whether these uh, Rise of Rohan over here are going to sneak all the way around. I mean, but at the same time, I feel like Isengard will just see that coming. I'm pretty sure that he's not that bad a player that he did not see Rohan just run cab across the entire map. Hold the line, Rohan. Early maintainers definitely are su uh, not superior, inferior to the Urukai infantry. I mean, one faction's really got good cav and the other's got good infantry. Maybe I should do like a top five or maybe top three even, like best factions and then like do like a, a subsection of that best sort of like melee infantry. Let me know what you think about that. Would you want to see like a sort of like me doing ranking videos? Just like certain, certain factions. I'd be interested to do it. Why and Storm is here. They are uh, getting uh, sent in. That's kind of surprising that Isengard's already sending in his elite swords. But I guess all of his infantry is kind of losing decisively. He might need to. They run this side here. Even though these uh, Axanes... I've held for a long time. They are dying. And Isengard's not finished, sending in some weakened Urukai infantry. They've still got plenty outside the city. I mean, yeah, things like these berserkers, you've got the, uh, the pikes. Maybe even that general of Lurts. Got plenty of things that you need to shoot down as, uh, as Rohan. So they do need to save ammo. Luckily they've still got like Garrison the Homburg here with plenty of ammo. Hopefully they've got a few I'm others like that. Grouped. Yeah, fair amount of ammo over here as well. Like two units, three units there I can see. And also they retreat all those other units as well. Uh, from down on the, uh, the, in the valley. So that's good I guess. Yeah, all of a sudden, this army now is not quite defunct, but it's going to have a tough time breaking through. Because this is... Oh, it's uh, just a single choke point up here. And it's just 
one unit holding the line. It's going to be very, very hard. Well, in theory, I don't know if they can sneak through this gap here and then go around the, the back of the houses. I, I wouldn't be sure, but certainly seems like one choke point at the moment. It's going to be tough. Um, but it does look as though Rohan, for now, holding. And that's all they can do, is hold. Isengard here, looks like he's uh, steadily grinding away. I mean, what are the numbers looking like? 4,400 against 7,300. It's about a 2,000 man and Uruk difference. Definitely could be turned around by uh, Rohan. But the problem is, is, I usually say in these sort of battles when we do it, like, oh, it's not too bad a difference. And also, Rohan's still got his best troops to come in and, you know, change the game. Rohan's infantry's not that great. Guard of the Golden Hall... Is their best unit? It's a spear unit. And on a good day, it won't necessarily beat uh, Urukai infantry, let alone a uh, uh, White Hand Stormer or Berserkers. But yeah, what have we got over here? Mortal Bow Rabble being sent in. One of the most overpowered arch units in the game now. Here we go, another wave going in from Isengard. The center choke point here for Rohan has held strong so far. And again, they're sending the Axanes in. I don't know if this, like the charge they do the Axanes is actually giving them a bonus. Or whether they just don't feel secure having one Rohan infantry in all this choke point. Could be, uh, could be both. They gotta believe that like a Rohan army's on the way to come and save them. That's what they gotta believe right now. Or maybe Gondor's on the way. That'll be good. Gondor here to save the Westfold. I don't think it's the case though. Have they attacked on the other side yet? No, still waiting with these uh, Urukai Raiders. I don't, maybe they just don't feel like they have the uh, the manpower to assault, or the Uruk power to assault in all four, like four points. I feel like they do. They're still just merrily landing troops here. Uh, and they're barely getting shot at as well. These Berserkers here are being focused on down 85 out of 90. Being shot at by uh, these Yeomen of the Mark. Who also have been shooting at half orc axes that are about to go in. But yep, they still hold these choke points here. Bit of a mistake here, I feel like, from Rohan. Holding this choke point might have been easier. I, I don't really know. It's hard to say. It kind of was also costing them two units to hold it. But holding two choke points is certainly going to be much harder. And it means using up more units. So whether that's a potential issue that they've... Uh, or potential problem that they've, they've created there. And a mistake. Might be. But we'll see if it works out. I mean, they might get more angles here. I like how they say that. It's like, I don't recognize his head. And it's like, it's not one of ours. It's like, well, it's either going to be an Uruk head or it's going to be a Rohan head. Like a Rohirrim head. They're pretty different and distinguished. But... One looks ugly. The other one looks, well, quite normal. A man's head. But yeah, it looks like, ooh, we've got pikes coming up already. Wow, okay. So yeah, they are throwing in pikes early. I mean, I don't know how many they were allowed to bring. Maybe two, I think. But a um, couple of pikes. Definitely not a bad idea to send some of these in now. I mean, they are starting to gradually run out of ammo. That garrison, the Hornburg's done. Uh, and they finally assaulted on this other uh, side here. We've got berserkers going in and also it looks like raiders. Uh, so yeah, a good mix there. The only positive with this army retreating, like I said, is that it is now a single choke point. Might make it a lot easier for uh, the defenders. Plus, they could send some of these much-needed uh, troops to the other choke points if they need to. 
Uh, good to see as well, early returns are winning against Urukai Infantry. They don't always do this, whether this is a weak unit, I don't know, or maybe they got shot at a little bit. Could have been either. Could have been both. Are they going to need more wins like this or Rohan? Where they're just winning with uh, retainers against Urukai base, Urukai Infantry. Because if they can't beat the basic infantry, they've got no hope of being the elites. Let me know who you wanting to win. Are you wanting to see Isengard win or Rohan win? I'm kind of rooting for Rohan a little bit. I feel like they're the underdog in this uh, in this scenario. Rohan is uh, certainly not a siege heavy faction. I'm seeing a weak berserker get thrown in there as well. I like how there's some Axanes here, they just don't know what to do with themselves. They're like, retreat, run! And then they just keep going backwards and forwards, it's quite funny. The center point is starting to see some cracks form. We're seeing uh, Yeoman of the Mark being sent in as well into melee. They're getting focused down by arrow fire. Always a bad idea when you, or a bad sign usually uh, when you see Archers being sent into combat. Look at that, all the mainline infantry routed. Those stains and Erling retainers have broken, so it's just the uh, the archers here holding the line. We are going to see an axe stain being sent in. They're going into battle in their weird one by one formation. Uh, it's a very tactical and very elite formation. It looks like they're going to defend at the choke point here. Fair enough. Pike's coming up though, it's, yeah, but it's taking a lot of attention right now. If only Rohan had an army of elves to help them. The yeah, swords on this side are losing, but the pikes are. Uh, Affecting the early retainers as well. And the archers are, yeah, still blitzing these guys. Berserk is getting sent back in. These half naked madmen. Madurex slice and dice and actually this is a fresh unit here 87 out of 90 imagine the retainers are losing actually they're not I thought those uh, berserkers might have done done them dirty we've got Garrison the Hornburg singing behind I remember these guys used to be so OP uh, I think they have weakened them a little bit, but yeah, these guys used to be so OP, you just brought them every time. I mean, that's kind of the case when a new update's out, you usually bring the new stuff because it's probably not well balanced or it needs but more balancing uh, and like suggestions from fans. But, yeah, this Garrison Hornburg was nasty to face early on, I remember. Like his eyes got you like, well, I guess don't break, break through. Why are you fools? Especially if they had three of them. Crossbows over here. Steadily doing some work, chipping away at those guys. Look at the blobs that are forming up over here. Isengard is getting a little desperate. But they are nearly breaking through these other retainers, losing. The uh, the archers also losing decisively. So are the pinks. Uh, sorry, the pinks, the pikes.
got... Is that Bow Rabble that's in combat? Surely not. We've got more Garrus and Hornbow going in there, really trying to solid, like, solidify this line here. Yeah, we've got Bow Rabble that's engaged, and they have no ammo, so that's, I guess, a positive there. Uh, Urukai Infantry, though, is winning. The Pikes, I imagine, are helping in support. They're going to need more infantry. And Guard of the Golden Hall, the elite infantry for Rohan's going in. Oh, gosh, the camera. These guys look awesome. They look, are like the epitome of what Rohan is supposed to look like. They do look sick. Keep slicing and dicing these damn Uruks. There you go. I think they're going to route that whole choke point eventually. It's going to take a little bit of time, but there's more pikes on the way up now. So that's, uh, yeah, not that's not ideal, um, to be honest, for the, the, for the attackers. For the defenders, sorry. The de attackers, that's fine. Do what they want. Over on this back point here, I've not come here in a while because I had a feeling this was going to be what the, uh, the situation was. It's just not moved at all. Both sides have won each other down so much that, well, it's turned into a bit of a slugfest. This works for Rohan. Fair though, it also kind of works for Isengard. Isengard, like I said, a really good siege faction. Possibly one of the best. They do have the means that they can just unlock a formation from the click of, uh, the, click of the mouse. The cavalry that's been in the back lines, by the way, still alive. Uh, it's just over here, King Theoden and one of the Riders of Rohan. They are just here. Not really doing a lot because uh, the remaining troops are mostly inside. They could, I guess, charge the shock of a tree. But I have a feeling the cavalry's over there somewhere, but I'm not sure. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Here we go, Garrus and the Hornburg. They're getting some red blood onto their red shields. Such a cool unit. Like one of the first sort of hybrid units of the mod, really. Now we're seeing White Hand Stormers coming in. So this is the elite infantry. Funnily enough, I mean, for a unit that's called Stormers, they never get set in first. It's like, it's literally what they should be doing. Storm in first. They also form, like, have their big shields, you know, they like blocking everything when they uh, when they come up, but no one sends them in first. I guess because it is their, uh, their elite infantry. It does make sense. It's just quite funny that like a siege infantry unit that's uh, like supposed to go in first, take the uh, breach point, storm them. It never gets the job. They they, they always are uh, sent in last. In fact, to try and claim victory. Claiming victory as well is going to be the uh, the job of the early retainers and the axanes on this flank here. They will kill these remaining berserkers who will fight to the death because they have so much morale. But yeah, it looks like, I mean, there's a general here that's going to go in next. He might be able to turn that fight around, but... Yep, it's uh, looking pretty good on this flank here for Rohan. I don't know if the... Uh, there's a cav unit here. Where is the other one? It didn't go for a charge, did it? Oh, it has! How did it get in here? How did the riders of Rohan get in here? That is crazy! Is there a breach point or is there a gate that they still hold? I don't know how they've got in there. That's huge. They're actually like just gonna start willing away down these crossbows unless like something happens. Must be a, or did they just go through the gate? I think they just went through the gate. There's no oil, so they just charged in that way. I think that's what like, happened, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, the uh, cab's gonna go for a rear charge here on the pikes. This is gonna be pretty brutal here for the Uruks. 
for the Westfold men. For Rohan. Decent charge. That breaks the pikes there. They're going to get boxed in here, but another good charge. Wouldn't go amiss. Charge a bit into those guys. And now I think they're getting tied down here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Rohan here. Dead and buried. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Rise Rohan now going in, trying to get these uh, crossways. They're going to get gunned down here. Rip in peace to them. My gosh. That was painful. Well, it was worth a go. And, I mean, I guess the cap wasn't going to get used at any other sort of point. So, yeah, worth a try. Problem is, they didn't can't really do a lot. Um, Lurtz is looking pretty low on uh, troops. Maybe they could assassinate him. Oh, they need to be careful. Both sides here could lose a general. Lurtz is still very much alive. You can see his uh, model as well. And I think Thirden's the same. Yeah, Thirden's also still alive. You be careful with that. Uh, because if they lose him, uh, Lurtz, then that's, that's morale for an army gone. That's huge. Here we go. Charge from Thirden. He's going to run down Lurtz. Like the cow did. He should have stood his ground. I think he's going to go through the gate. Whether that's pathfinding issues or... Yeah, good charge. They might get him as well here. Will it be dead in to kill him? We'll see. They might route him here. Yeah, they're going to route him and then he probably will run for his life. I can't see him. There he is. He's very much alive at the moment. Yep, he's, he's in there. They're going to run him down, I think, here. Or they'll try to. Whatever they'll do. Or they might just run for the... Might run away from the walls first and let her... Uh, before the crossbows come in. But yeah, they definitely need to just make sure they run down alerts. Because he's not actually dead. Um, but yeah, that's a big win there for Rohan. Actually routing a general. Um, big, big win. And the rest of that... Yeah, like... Isengard army is waiting over there. That's something they like got to take into effect. How did that unit get around? Is there a gap maybe here? I don't know. So there's 2,500 Rohirrim against 4,000, but I'd say a good thousand at least are down here, maybe more. Um, yeah, they need to be careful to Rohan. They don't overextend, but they're doing a very good job right now. Um, I mean, they definitely, this still hangs in the bands pretty badly, um, but if they can hold on, that'd be great. Uh, ammo is starting to be an issue, though, it seems. Um, we've got some Garrison Hallmog ammo here. Um, but it looks like they should kill this general as well, or at least route him, and that's a win. Um, yeah, they didn't just kill Lurtz. If they, if they don't realize that he's not dead, then they need to realize sooner rather than later. Uh, but again, yeah, Mortal Bow Rabble here having a bit of a field day, just shooting into this mass blob of Rohirrim. Hold the line! So many men of Rohan have fallen already, trying to defend the Westfold. Could they do it? Could they do it? I mean, I imagine it's going to be time is a way that they could win it, like run down the time, or just killing off uh, all of Isengard. I think more than likely they'll have to try and go for time, if anything. Garrison the Hornburg they're holding here. It's just two units of Garrison Horn Hornburg. And they'll do the job okay. Guard of the Golden Hall here. Fighting against the Pikes. Yeah, a few archer shots still coming in, trying to weaken these Pikes, just trying to get rid of them. Uh, they need to be careful that obviously oh, the crossbow unit going really, really far. It's chasing down dead and dead and just get out of there. Just, just go and run for your life. I mean, if you just keep running around and that crossbow unit is just out of the game, that's a bigger win for you than anything else. Um, if Daedrid here could also find a gap, um, like I don't know, this White and Storm is starting to win now. If they could win this fight here, then Thedra could come round, he could then go down the line, he could go and take out these bow rabble, he could go into the back of this infantry here, and then rear charge all these, and he's probably strong enough that he could do enough damage to maybe route a couple of those choke points. This is probably looking like the most scary choke point out of the lot now. 
We've got a healthy Berserker here, healthy Pike. And it looks like a healthy White and Stormer. So yeah, this is probably the point that Rohan needs to worry about the most. I would say. But they've got a guard of the Golden Hall here that is doing just fine. So we'll see if they can uh, they can win that. Still on this side back here. Yeah, just looking really slow, sluggish from Isengard. Rohan just keeps feeding in one or two infantry units, and they're doing just fine. And look at that archer fire now coming in on these Urukai Pikes. They've kept their archers. Well, I was going to say they kept their archers in reserve. They just fired their last few shots, I think. There's a couple... I oh, know this Garrison Hornberg has a few more shots, but yeah, there's Pikes. But yeah, need to uh, get into the fight. Enemy General dead. Oh, that is this General here. Fighting the Guard of Golden Hall. He has uh, lost his fight. He's like, even, in fact, lost his life as well. Um, so yeah, even more pressure now on this army back here to get pressing for those Pikes. Are going to need to do some heavy lifting to get through that choke point. And I think Daedrid as well has seen a chance. If he just... Uh, Waits for the spear unit here to win that fight. Then he can break out there and he can go for some rear charges. And they've still got like three units of garrison. I'm uh, sorry. Three units of guard of the golden hall here. Healthy units. And that, that general dying is causing some mass rounding I think on this side. Some of these troops must have been his. But yeah, they are starting to lose and waver. Yeah, Raiders here fighting garrison the Hornberg. That's an easy fight for Rohan really. Keep up the good fight, men. Slicing and dicing these uh, Urukai Raiders. A good rear charge from Theodred if he can get, if he can break out. They've got a chance. They've got a chance. That Storm, though, could hold for a little while. Yeah, even though it's lost a general 52 men or 52 Urux, they should still hold for a little while. Is that crossbow even... Yeah, it's seen sense and it's retreating, but it's kept itself out of the game for a good couple of minutes. And that's the thing. It could have been used in a choke point somewhere. More pikes coming in this direction. They've been pulled out from over here. Yeah, so they've weakened this front over here. But they are doing relatively well, but they could still do with that pike unit. But yeah, the pikes have been brought over here to try and break through here. They're desperate to try and get through. I mean, Isengard still has the troops. They're just in the wrong place. They're over here. And the Grenadiers are here. They, they bring these guys up. Like, they need to get those uh, into the fight. And there is a little bit of our trauma left, and I wonder if it's being saved for them. Um, but they need to get something up to try and... Try and literally, quite literally, blow a hole in this... Uh, in this choke point here. I mean... They've got to kill these guard of the Golden Hall, the early retainers. They've got to do a lot of work. And it might be worth just using up the uh, the ammo to try and break through. This mod is amazing. It just looks great. Look at, I mean, just look at the Uruks here just, just piking their way forward. Like the unit design and model design looks amazing. It really is. It really does immerse you into the world of Middle Earth. But can they hold on? Rohan's stacking up the units here. Garrus and the Hornburg in there now as well. Yeah, they, they need to send up something like those uh, Grenadiers to try and just unlock the defense. I'm surprised they didn't bring Grenadiers on this side uh, and use them in choke points. They're such a key unit to have. They won on this flank here. Now look at this. Daedrid is through, and he's a gold chevron general. My gosh. But he can go for rear charges. I mean, there's this crossbow unit here that's been tied down by swords. That's an easy win there for Rohan. And Rohan's taking the offensive. I did say he needs to be careful. Doesn't want to get outmaneuvered. 
by a, a too aggressive attack. Could you go for a rear charge here? Yep. This is not so much a rear charge, but a side charge here. But Daedric going in, and that should be an easy win there. Route that crossbow. Yeah, 95 and Waverin. And as you can see, you can see uh, Rohan's also going to send in infantry units. Well, they're not infantry, they're arch units, but they double up as infantry. They're that good. Try and deal with some of these uh, these pest crossbows. We've got more archers over here trying to flank the pikes. Encirclement starting to take place here. The Westfold might get defended. We'll see. It's looking pretty good though right now for Rohan. Swords starting to waver. And we've got another general coming down. Guard of the Golden Hall coming down. Uh, Deirdre is on his way. He's coming across. And still this uh, crossbow unit here that needs to be careful. That's what I'd go for next if I was Deirdre. Go for that crossbow unit here. Get rid of that. Because, uh, yeah, your infantry is going to deal with this, uh, deal with these pikes and stuff. But, yeah, looks like that is exactly what's going to happen right now. Uh, and also, this is a prime target of cavalry. I mean, there's a lot of berserkers here. Berserkers are only very light shock in the tree. Um, so, yeah, they, they get minced. Guard of the Golden Hall. They're, they're holding strong. They're holding strong. But here we go. Charge from Theodred. Prince Theodred. The man who never got to be king of Rohan. And he's going to just ride down these crossbows. They've wasted their potential, really. Chasing after the king. King Theoden, which is milling around at the back. Not doing a lot right now. He's just, you know, keep, keeping safe. His men's morale will rely on it. But yeah, good charge there. The cross was off. Finished. Start slicing and dicing, boys. Slicing and dicing. There you go. Yeah, Urukai crossbows. They should be routed. And then it'll be... Uh, swiftly moving on to here, I would hold on for a moment. If if I, if I was his general, just let Theodor do the do the work, because uh, a good charge from him could make a whole lot of difference. Because that speed unit, <laughs> it might not actually win in an encirclement. These are shock units after all. Uh, but yeah, it's still on this side, no sort of breach, and it's now looking real dire. If I was the Eisenhower player, I'd be like, screw it. If I don't move forward here with my grenadiers and try and use those, which could potentially get. 100, if not more kills. And they could rout units. Their mo like, morale damage that they do is huge. They, Yeah, they could get shot down, but the damage they could seriously do is, is ginormous. And yeah, these yeomen, oh no, they're not yeomen. These garrison, the Hornburg, they can't do too much damage, really. Um, Deirdred has gone in, I think, for a charge. Yeah. I mean, they can do some damage to those uh, bowmen, but they just haven't got enough ammo to, like, wipe out the unit, that's for sure. They could do some serious damage, but yeah, look at that. All these units went to losing for a moment. Daedrid is taking casualties on the pull, uh, on, like, the pullout, and that's not a great charge. His, his cavalry charge kind of got stopped by retreating Urux. That actually might be pretty costly. Daedrid hit, yeah, getting engaged pretty badly now. And yeah, this smart there by the uh, Isengard player. He's going to let... The uh, White End Stormers defending against Daedred, and the Berserkers are going to continue the fight against the Garden Gold Hall. Yeah, Daedred, I think, is going to let, uh, let his teammate now to continue, and those uh, Garden Gold Hall will engage uh, the White End Stormers, and they'll try and deal with them, but Back on this side. Still no progress. To take out our him. We're seeing crossbows come forward, but if they send in crossbows, they need to actually pull out the rest of their troops. And it's just a very slow process, and they don't have time now. Time is against them. Because once Rohan wins on the other flank, all those reserve like all those troops will become reserves. And just make this a one grindy choke point, which would be pretty much impossible. For Isengard then to break through. I mean, a numbers game as well. It's balanced out, um, which is not great. Rohan probably still does have the lesser infantry in, in that sense and can still die. I mean, Isengard also has more ammo, better infantry. And Grenadiers. 
and pikes. Perfect units for, she uh, for sieges. The thing is that most of the infantry that's left for, uh, for Rohan is like good infantry. Guards go on hall. Garrison the Hornburg, which are both archers and also infantry. So they double up pretty nicely. So all those men that they have left are good fighters. Some of those troops that Isengard have aren't going to be great in, a, in an actual uh, like melee combat. Like the crossbows. So it's very, very uh, tense now. Very, very tense. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, it looks like Daedra is just going to reclaim the gates. Not a bad idea. I guess that allows Daedra inside. Maybe that's what they're thinking. I feel like this guard of the Golden Hall needs to actually properly engage. Just a couple of them are actually, you know, fighting. Send in the full unit. Get everyone in there. Uh, finally, they also have routed the pikes in this front here. Is there anything else left in there? Oh, there is. Is it a white and stormer? Yeah. The stormers will fight on. They don't know any such thing as defeat. Only death. Or victory. They also probably can't see behind those massive shields that they're losing. Keep slicing and dicing them. Slicing and dicing. There you go, they routed the Wyand Stormer. Very nicely done. And it looks like we are seeing a bit of a general retreat on this side here as crossbows are being sent up, but they are in melee. I feel like that must have been a uh, mistake. It's not like, uh, at this point, Rohan is not going to sit back. He's not going to uh, he's not going to sit back and just let his men get shot at by crossbows. He's going to attack them. That's the problem with his choke point. When you set up crossbows, it, you can't set them up far enough away that they're out of charging distance. You're on a bit of a, a corner. So you, the first you can set them up is like over here, which I guess might keep you safe actually. If you set them up here, um, then that might keep you safe from Rohan. He might not come out. It depends how he's set up, but that re that retainer might come out and get you. 42 men might just charge you for the sake of it. But Rohan won't want to charge too far in the case he does get counterflanked. But at this point, I feel like Rohan can sense victories on the way. And they've got plenty of reserves. They still have two healthy guards that... Uh, Guards of the Golden Hall here. They're still in really good condition. I really wanted to call the Guards of the Golden Hall their Guards of the Teeth. But that's an entirely different faction. It's definitely not uh, not Rohan. That's for sure. But these guards of the Golden Hall on this side here have done a good job. They've held for ages. And against good shock infantry. I don't think these shock got great charges. But the Berserkers, I don't think they actually... Um, they just, like, joined the fight behind their uh, allied infantry. And I don't think they got, a, a, like, a charge bonus. Which is what shock infantry obviously really relies on. If it's going to... Uh, like, it needs that shock impact. It's in the name, as you can see. Um, and then they can really make a difference in a fight. Uh, they just joined the back of like an infantry fight like this one going on. If they Berserkers joined it, they might help a little bit, but not too much. They, they need to be in like the front lines getting the uh, getting the kills in that first charge. Or a flanking charge. Flanking charges are good as well because they're still technically, you know, in the front, like getting a, a charge onto the front of a unit or the side of a unit in that sense. Yeah, it's not looking good. Time is running out. We are, what, like 20 seconds away from the end of this battle. It looked as though Rohan is going to hold. Uh, Theoden is, you know, cowed outside the walls. In fact, so is a sword unit that's gone out here. How has that happened? But Theoden is going to be leading his people to victory here, defending the Westfold from the Uruks of Isengard. And it is a draw, technically, but I would say that a draw is a Rohan victory in this sense, uh, as they held the settlement. And they looked like they were going to go on and beat this Isengard army anyway. Um, it just would have taken a long, long time to do. But yet this was sent in by famous Austrian, who was playing as one of the um, as one of the Rohan armies there. So well done to uh, 
to him for winning that one. We'll have a quick look at uh, his kills. It looks like he's got 192 kills here with the early retainers. 224 with another one here. He's got some very good kills, actually. 187 kills with the Axe Saints is even better. These guys usually never get triple figures. 191 kills with the Guard of the Golden Hall. 119 with another one there. Here's a Yeoman of the Mark, 147 kills, but into the 300s for the Garrus and the Hornburg. 334 for another one here. Very nice. And then we have Le Traps playing as Rohan here. 315 kills with Thaden before he uh, decided to just see the rest of the battle out from the sidelines. He did pretty well, actually, then. 212 kills with the uh, early retainers here. 214, 216 with the other ones. Uh, and then his uh, Axane's only getting 72 kills with his archers. Again, doing well. I mean, Garrison the Hornburg, 100, 329 kills. 423 kills, 249. Some good kills there for Le Traps. Then we have Smart King um, playing as... Uh, Rohan as well, the final Rohan army with Deirdre, 244 kills with him and still very healthy, 223 kills with the early retainers, uh, 204 with another one, then his Garrison the Hornburg again doing very well, 282 kills, 235 kills, some solid solid kills there, then then Riders Rohan getting 288 kills, very nicely done, then we have Bulk playing as one of the Isengard armies, uh, getting 149 kills with his Urukai infantry, 193 with the Berserker here, and then, uh, yeah, not really too much else. In the end, it's a bit of a shame because Bulk, I was surprised, would uh, go for this back entrance because it does kind of, like, narrow your options of where you can go um, in a siege. It's very just s slow and sluggish going up that one ramp. And he was stuck there most of the game. Then we have Zahn playing as uh, the second Isengard army. 103 kills with his White Hand Stormer General before he uh, fell. Then we have... Uh, yeah, most of his infantry actually didn't do that great. 98 kills with the White Hand Storm is, is the best. I'm surprised going up against Rohan. They usually outmatch. But it did not seem that was the case today. Half Orc Axe is 172 kills. Though is not, uh, sorry, 170 kills is not too bad. Um, Berserkers, 127. Outscored by the um, lesser counterparts today. Uh, Mordor Bow Rebel getting 188 kills. The White Hand Grenadiers, my gosh, getting zero kills. I presume focused down. That is unfortunate. So uh, they did bring some on that other side. They just got focused down. Um, then we have Winter's Might playing as the final Isengard army. Yeah, Lurt getting run down and routed. That was a huge, huge mistake there. I think bringing Lurt is a bit of a risk, to be honest. He often just gets focused down in uh, multiplayer games, I feel like. Um, but 148 kills the Urukai Infantry here. 108 with another one. Uh, 152 kills with the uh, White Hand Stormers. 130 kills with the Half Orc Axis. 121 with the Berserkers. Uh, Mortal Bow Rebel, 151 kills. And his yeah, crossbow is getting 99 kills. But there you go, guys. That is today's Siege Battle. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Feel free to join the Discord as well if you want to get involved in some streams or in some scenario battles or just want to chat to some fellow Total War fans. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.